Good morning, folks, or afternoon, or evening. I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. I'm doing a gift request today. So, Farm Daddy, shout out to you again. I don't know why. It just took off to be a thing where it's Farm Daddy, a.k.a. Robert. <laughs> so, anyway, I am doing a new, like a new duet group. Uh, Darren and Brooke Aldridge doing their song, Jordan. But it features Ricky Skaggs, Mo Pitney, and Mark Fain. So uh, this has got to be something special. And I think you said this is Bluegrass Farm Daddy. And you guys know that I'm going to get more into Bluegrass on the channel. Because that's definitely within the country, western umbrella of non-pop country that I do here. So uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. You're, you'll certainly get to know Farm Daddy and some others if you hang out. Uh, in the comments section. So here we go. Let's see what the song Jordan is about. Ricky. How good is this? Already. Oh, coming as you tread life's journey. Take Jesus as your daily guide. Though you may feel pure and safely without him walking by your side. But when you come to make the crossing, of your pilgrim's way If you ever will meet our Savior You'll surely meet him on that day Great now setting that Cold Jordan Look at these deep, deep waters Look at that wide river Oh, hear the mighty billows roll You better take Jesus with you He's a true companion For a sure without him That you never will make me home Love this composition. That awful day of judgment is coming in the by and by. We'll see our Lord descending in glory from on high. So let us keep in touch with Jesus and in his grace and love of God that we may be ever called ready when he calls us over Jordan's side. Look at that cold Jordan. Look at these deep waters. Look at that wide river. Oh, hear the mighty billows roll. You better take Jesus with you. He's a true companion. For I'm sure without him that you never will make it home. <laughs> I don't care what your faith is on that. I have so many thoughts on this thing, too. But this composition is really freaking good. I love, and I love that Mo is being recognized. Of course, everybody knows who he is in the industry, but we've all been wondering when is Mo going to come out with like more George Jonesy type stuff? I like that he's here. Ricky is, of course, I mean, he's done Christian stuff before as well. Broken Darren are wonderful. I love this setting, and I have been. To Jordan. Uh, we flew into Amman, then we went over to Israel, been to the Jordan River, actually was, quote, rebaptized in it, basically just to do it, but in the Jordan River. And the Jordan River is not big, it's a tiny little thing. But this presentation is from, I should have worn my Jerusalem hat for this. And I'm posting this on a Sunday. It was scheduled for Saturday, but it's going to Sunday. Now look at that cold Jordan. Look at these deep waters. Look at that wide river. Oh, hear the mighty billows roll. You better take Jesus with you. He's a true companion. For I'm sure, sure without him that you never will make me whole. Oh, what? what you gonna do? Oh, what? What you gonna say? Oh, how? How you gonna feel when you come to She's got a perfect voice for this song. And she's wearing like a churchy type robe, but it wasn't like oversold. And 
people have different thoughts on religion and different religions and stuff. And one of the things that like, I know like about Christianity and they brought in judgment day there, whether or not it happens that way or not, it still has a way of keeping us in check and developing a conscience toward others in this life where we get into problems with different religions and, and the fighting is when instead of using our religion to check me, like my religion to make me better, I begin to use it to try to make you better or to change you. And that's where we get into problems. And then this group tries to change that group. And then they start the infighting, whatever. Human nature, it's what we do. But a song like this is just beautiful. I mean, what do you say? I'm not rating that song. That was a good find for him, Daddy. With those musicians on it, are you kidding me? And I, I, of course, hope this doesn't get blocked. If you're seeing it, it didn't. But I think you said it was a new release. Uh, but but just seeing the different vocalists come in and they're like, oh, no, we need like more of a baritone voice to come in just to sing like four words. And they bring Mo in for that. And then they harmonize. And then the mandolin, Ricky's playing. And um, the bass player, of course, was just doing his thing in bluegrass. So, folks. You can thank Farb Daddy for that one, regardless of what your faith or lack thereof. I don't judge anybody. I don't care if you're an atheist. If you're a kind person, that's all I care about. I could get through this world with my own faith and questions and doubts. I mean, it's appropriate to doubt things, too, that we've heard. That sort of solidifies or, or helps us search and be more honest and authentic um, within ourselves and live that out in life. But regardless, a song like this can just be appreciated like for what it is. So thank you again, Farm Daddy, for the gift. Folks, you can leave your comments. Be kind along the way. And there you go. Have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country. And bluegrass.